Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to create a glass material like this in Blender. Uh, you can see that uh, it's not a very clean image because I have used uh, 64 cycles. So if you want a better image, you can increase the cycles to get a better quality. So we'll talk about that when we get started. So let us see how to create a scene like this in Blender. Alright, so in Blender, uh, we are at the basic scene. We will delete the light. Alright, um, we will first model the glass. So we will go to edit mode. And then from view, you can go to area and toggle quad view. So you can see all the four sides. So we can work on the four sides. So we'll click on the uh, this button to see the all the sides and select all the sides of the cube. All right. So first thing we are going to add uh, a loop cut, and we will add a loop cut. Uh, along this side and this side okay then we are going to select all the vertices shift these four all right and we're going to scale a little bit inside from this side and a little bit inside so we get a round surface okay so i can use this circle to try and see that within the circle here okay now we will select the top go to face mode here select the top face select the this shift these four okay and I'm going to using the shift and middle mouse to pan and middle mouse click and drag to look around and we were in this mode I go to the smooth solid mode this is called the wireframe mode and this is called the see-through mode okay so I'm in the solid mode and I'll click on insect and this will be the thickness of the glass Okay, then we'll click on, I'll go back here, click on extrude, and we need to extrude and have give some thickness at the bottom. Okay, so that is our uh, glass, and then we will go to see through mode again, vertex mode, select all the bottom faces, and then we'll click on this and scale it inside so you get a narrow base okay so that is our glass we'll go to object mode modify panel and we will add subdivision surface and i will add three levels both in render and viewport okay viewport is just to see and render is what is going to use for rendering all right now we will go to edit mode now we don't have any thickness so we'll add some more loop cuts so i'll loop cut this and drag it up and then i will loop cut and drag down okay if you go to transparent mode you can see that inside it's not done so we can do the same thing inside Then you can do the same thing inside from this side. Okay, so you can see how you get the thickness to the glass. Okay, and then you can add a loop cut in the middle also, just to have even faces. Okay, so we'll go to object mode, and at the bottom, it's not so flat, so you can add. Uh, to edit mode face and go to shift select these four 
and then click on insert so you get a flat surface at the bottom of the glass so this is our glass model we are done with the modeling okay so we'll go to view area toggle quad view we'll go to object view okay and then we'll go to object shade smooth so it looks smooth so our glass is now looking smooth we will create add mesh plane okay we will scale the plane and we'll move our glass on top okay if we can go to the side we'll make sure that the glass is slightly inside but not too much All right, so now this glass, I will shift D e to duplicate, right click, rotate and slightly rotate N and I see this as 90 and move it back and move it up. Okay, shift D, right click, rotate, rotate and type 90 here and move it here. Okay, so we basically get three sides the glass looks kind of big so we can scale the glass down and move it side okay so that's our scene and to hide now we'll add materials so you can go and search for uh, wooden floor texture okay go to images go to tools size click large i like this one so i saved this image and then look for concrete wall texture or any other texture that you like this is what i used Okay, and then save those. It's taking time, so I'm not going to waste my time. And then I'll go to materials, new material. I will name it floor. Okay. And the base color, I'm going to use image texture, open. Then I'm going to select where I saved the image. wood floor and then if you click here you will see that wood floor so we'll save this file save blender file now we'll assign a new material for this we'll call it wall base color image texture open and we'll select the concrete wall and this one we will simply add the same wall texture there so now you got uh, our basic scene setup for the glass I'm going to use the same material double click it and call it glass whatever the default is and here first thing we're going to do is roughness is zero and transmission is one okay so you can see now things start happening we're going to turn on screen space refractions and then we'll go to render settings here and then we'll turn on screen space reflection and then click here and turn on refraction and now you can see the glass happening okay so we need some uh, environment for the glass to reflect so we'll go here world properties and we'll go to the color and use environment texture and for the image we are going you can go to HDRI heaven 
okay and this gives HDRI images so if you go to HDRI and we need an outdoor for this or indoor it doesn't matter what you want to use it's just an environment that is going to reflect on the glass and you can see that what type of shadows you're going to get from these okay so let us use this and see what results we get so I'll click on this one and then I'm going to click on 2k there are various sizes so let us try 2k and see how 2k works so show in folder so I'll leave it there and then use it from there and then we'll go to open we'll go to downloads and future parking open then if you click on here the last option here then you can see the the image that you have gotten and they, this is going to create image based lighting for our scene okay so you don't need any lights the light will come from the pixels of the image that is super cool and then you'll get similar shadows that you get here all right so now what we do is uh, uh, we use cycles for rendering so ev becomes cycles and here i'm going to use 64 each okay and then now you can see the shadows happening right and then if you want to change the shadows you can select whole thing then you can rotate it Okay, so we'll go to view, viewpoint camera, N, view, camera to view, and now you can rotate the camera to see what is going to get rendered. Okay, and then you can go to render, render image, and you will get nice looking glass. It's going to take some time to render, but that's about it. So, a few settings that you need to remember, uh, which is to add transmission, remove roughness. Uh, you need to turn on the subsurface scattering and refractions. All right. And then uh, if you want, you can work with transparency and base color and make certain changes and see what kind of looks you get.